Hey, what's up guys? It's your sister, Yuni Yanni in the house today. And as you can hear my voice right now, I just woke up. And I thought it would be the perfect time for me to film this video because I'm actually in Busan right now and this is the day two for me of traveling. And I wanted to share with you um, how important it is to switch up your skincare um, when you're traveling. Uh, not just for the night routine. Many people um, assume that the night routine will be more important because of course your uh, skin has been damaged throughout the whole day. But morning routine is actually more important because you need to actually prevent and you need to actually get your skin prepared to protect your skin for the damages that's gonna come throughout the whole day. So I'm gonna show you some of my secrets and traveling tips and traveling skincare that can definitely help when you travel. And I know that many people are planning to go everywhere for the summer vacation. So I hope that this is helpful and let's get started. All right, so I have all the essentials here that I always carry with me when I travel. But right now, I'm gonna go and wash my face and introduce you to these products. All right, so guys, first things first, uh, I'm gonna start my cleansing routine for the morning time. And it's very important that you really make sure not to not destroy and not damage your skin barrier. Um, as you're sleeping at nighttime and all of the goodness that you put on for the nighttime routine, it's gonna pay off. Your skin barrier has probably been strengthened and restored throughout the whole day and you do not want to ruin that or strip that moisture away by using a really harsh or using a cleanser to you know like wipe off everything. If you do have oily skin, it might be a little bit different because you do have excessive sebum that you do want to get rid of. However, still don't use a very strong or harsh you know, cleanser. It's the best that if you don't have oily skin types for every other skin types to just use your water. If you have combination skin and you do feel a little bit oily on the T-zone, like myself at times, what I do is I only use a foam cleanser only on the T-zone. So I'll show you guys. foam up the foam cleanser fully in my hands because if you do it on your face you're actually irritating your face while you're doing it so what I'm just gonna do is put it only on the t-zone and I do it here because I have a lot of baby hair and I break out a lot um, in this area so I'm just gonna put it right here and use my fourth finger And that's it. Okay guys, so I'm done. And for those of you with dry skin type or for those of you with just normal skin type or even sensitive, just trust me, rinse it off with water and you will, you will feel it guys. Just trust me and just please do it. This is one of the greatest tips that has changed the skincare game for me. One of the tips that I really, really want to highly recommend. Okay. All right, and I usually carry my cotton pads in a plastic bag like this. It's very ghetto, but you do what you gotta do, you know? You wanna keep them clean, but you don't wanna bring the whole box of cotton pads. So I usually have my clean sponges um, for my base makeup, and I have my cotton pads here. This is the Claire's um, cotton pad. I brought the Triotic K Asin toner. The reason why I brought this toner with me is because I usually, usually break out when I'm traveling. Mm. Don't we all? I mean, I have acne prone skin, so even if my skin is in a fabulous condition, when I travel, it just starts breaking out and it starts getting mad at me no matter you know how well I try to take care of it. So what I love doing is bringing some of my favorite products uh, for when I break out, which is this toner. This toner, I appreciate it more when I break out because I know that it really helps to control my acne. But when my skin is in a really good condition, I don't like it too much because 
I feel like the moisturizing effect of it is less than my other favorite toners like Claire's uh, Supple Preparation and Scented Toner or the scented one, whatever it may be. So this is a great tip that when you are traveling that you switch up your skincare routine a little bit so that you prepare yourself. If you know you're gonna break out during this traveling period, then it's better that you do bring products that you do use when your skin is breaking out. Okay, and then I'm gonna move on to the serum step. And I have brought my Oxygenceuticals um, Ample Booster and the Matrix Ball. Ball, 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 ball. Okay, so these two are my favorite. And the reason why I brought these is because I've actually introduced this to you guys um, for a product that you can see instant, immediate results when you first use it. And that is exactly the reason why I brought this. I mean, it's good that you bring a serum that really, really works for your skin. And especially when I'm traveling, I try to choose a product that I know that immediately it will work for my skin. So some products, it takes a while or it takes about, you know, two two, three days or a few uses for you to see the difference. But a really good tip is when you're traveling, bring products that you know is gonna work for your skin, that you know that you have like an insurance with. That's like the most important thing. So I'm gonna pop these babies and these are super simple to use. Look at this, there's a little like cotton candy like ball and there are many products out there in the market these days that's very similar now the instructions tell you to use a glass bowl to mix these up but after you know i've been using it for a while now i i have my own know-hows and i have my own things like i already knew right off the bat i could just do it on my hands so i'm gonna actually let me show you so I'm just gonna pump up some serum. They actually have lines here for you to make sure that you use the right amount. I think that is pretty enough. And this is what it looks like. It kind of melts very easily with the liquid together. And I'm just gonna melt that down. Excuse me with my voice. Because I met my best friend yesterday. So we talked a lot and um, I screamed a lot at the baseball stadium, which was super fun. Wow, guys. Watch the vlogs. Alright, so now that it has melted completely, I'm going to put it on my face. And this is just a very kind of slimy type of feel. It reminds me um, a lot of like the Cozarex serums. It's just very slimy. It's not sticky. The slimy, it glides well. Now for the next step, I love, love using a sheet mask for the day routine. At nighttime, of course, if I do have time or if I'm not too tired, I use a sheet mask. But for the daytime too, I love, love, love using sheet masks. So for the sheet masks, it's really important that you bring something that will focus mostly on the effects for calming, soothing, and moisturizing. If you really want to bring other products for other effects like brightening and things like that, that's fine too. But most of the time, always remember that when we're traveling, our skin is exposed to things that are usually not exposed to. For example, for me, I only get literally maximum 30 minutes to 45 minutes of the sun in at lunchtime at work. However, I mean, when we're traveling, we're out the door and probably I'm getting a lot of UVA, UVB rays like throughout the whole freaking 10 or, you know, whatever hours that may be. So it's really important that you do bring sheet masks for specifically calming and soothing or moisturizing. So I I have brought these two. These two are my favorite these days um, currently. So this first one is Dewy Tree Deep Mask Barrier. So overall, it helps to really strengthen your um, skin barrier, uh, which was one of the key points that I do look for in a product when I'm traveling especially. And then the other one is also really, really mild too. This is the Deep Mask Minimal. And this is uh, basically for a really good skin condition. So it focuses a lot on calming it has only nine ingredients it says people stress is zero percent so it's its main focus is to kind of condition your skin and to give zero percent of stress to your skin so these two are fabulous because no matter what type of 
skin condition my skin gets meaning that my skin can become super irritated it can flip out because of an allergic reaction or whatever it may be i still can use these these are very mild to be able to be used while i'm traveling no matter what kind of skin condition i may bump into and usually i would use this but i wanted to show you a little tip that i also do in the morning time when i'm traveling you can do a sheet mask or you can do this step depending on if you have to go right out the door if you have no time to do a sheet mask for 20 minutes then this is a really really good trick for me it's really easy just get your favorite mild um, moisturizer or a lotion or an emulsion works better for me because i find that with this trick you do need um viscosity that's very close to a lotion uh, rather than like a cream but you can use your cream I've done it with my cream many times so this is Claire's all over lotion and what I like to do is just squeeze out a huge amount of the lotion and I put a thick layer on like a mask And voila, this is it guys. What I just did is I put a thick layer of my all over lotion or any emulsions or lotions that you guys have. And I'm kind of using this as a moisturizing and calming mask. So when I don't have a sheet mask or if I don't have any products like sleeping masks and things like that, this is a great trick that you can do. And I love doing this when I'm traveling because uh, sometimes I forget to bring a sheet mask, you know, or, or sometimes I just want to bring as minimal products as possible possible so this is a great trick so usually I would put a thick layer on like this after my serum and I will go on and um, do the things that I need to do like I don't know put body lotion on my body or you know call my boyfriend or whatever but all you need to do is just wait about five minutes okay I'll show you how it's gonna look after five minutes okay guys so it's been five minutes I don't know if you guys can notice but uh, the thin layers, um, it's already gone, my skin has soaked it up but the thick layers, it has kind of gotten hardened like this a little bit like that so this is what happens usually after 5 minutes and then I get another cotton pad and just put some toner on it this is such a great tip for you guys to do um, I love doing this because after I've done this I know that my skin has a very protective layer um, that can just lock in the moisture within my skin and I love this because sometimes I forget to bring sheet masks because you know I forget everything all the time but it's kind of hard to bring sheet masks like traveling sometimes and when I don't have time to do it for 20 to 15 minutes this is a little trick that I love to do and I hope that you guys get to try it out too and I'm just gonna soak in the leftover lotion and then I'm gonna move on to the next step for the next step I want to introduce you to two creams uh, y'all know this is my favorite cream in the whole wide world this is Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream this is my favorite favorite cream that really just helps to calm and soothe my skin but it does not work well under makeup that's one thing that I really really feel sad about um, but it's still my favorite cream I cannot let it go and they are coming up with a huge ass bigger sized Midnight Blue Calming Cream so they have answered our prayers man I'm so happy that Claire's listens to our customers and I've said it many times see I was like oh my gosh it's so tiny I use it up so fast can you make it bigger but yes it's coming guys very soon so be on the lookout for that and I'll let you guys know as soon as it comes out and this is the Innisfree Bija Shitsi Cup Balm so this is also um it says that it's a balm type but it's very close to a cream let me show you the texture and this has become many many of um our sensitive unicorns out there more than a balm type it's kind of like a Look at that, it's just really fresh and it's just like a really light silky cream kind of and I love love using this um, especially when I'm traveling because I do find this super mild and it works really well under makeup and I always wear makeup when I'm traveling um, for the pictures so <laughs> usually for the pictures so I love using this and I'm just gonna finish off and I don't even need a lot of it because um, the, the step that I did before of the lotion pack that I did for my skin so my skin is super moisturized alright so this 
All right, so moving on to the last step. This is so important, sunscreen. From also Trail Out Decay, this is the ASIN uh, UV Protector Essence. And like the name itself, like the essence, it's such a great, great, great sun essence because the texture, let me show you. I'm almost out of it, so I'm so sad. I'm so sad. It's like this and more than a cream type, it is like a essence very very light on the face and I love that they don't have white cast I think I can actually use this forever because when I do find a skincare product that I really like and something like sunscreen it's really hard for me to find a good product you know so I just want to use the same thing over and over again but I am running out and look at this even using a very thick layer it soaks into your skin fully like a like a really essence for your skin and I think a lot of people who try this will really appreciate the sunscreen and I could definitely say that this is my holy grail product it is a little bit expensive triotic products are so expensive but if you do have sensitive and acne prone skin it's something it's a brand that you do want to really look into look at this this has such a fabulous finish no matter what kind of skin condition my skin is in it's gonna make sure that you don't have any lotion boogers I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I really hope that this helps even just a little bit when you are traveling a lot in the summer of 2018 let's make it a summer that we don't regret because it's never gonna come back and I'm sure that I'm gonna have such a great and blessed time in um, Busan and I'm gonna share it in my vlogs so I really hope that you enjoy Hit that subscribe button please and like this video and please leave me comments, your comments. I read every single one of them. Um, I always put hearts in it after I read them. So talk to me people. Love you guys. Bye my unicorn.